the two-year suspension is devastating to a career. Don't you feel like it does matter, though, like a, a substance like this versus, you know, cough syrup or something along those lines? Well, it, yeah. are you serious right now? Yes, of course. Of course, listen, there, there's all kinds of minor things that guys get busted for for not checking in and, and telling USADA they're using it. But yeah, this is, when you get busted for real performance-enhancing drugs, and there probably isn't a bigger performance-enhancing drug than EPL. Uh, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania Day alluded to him going to Las Vegas to get the ultimate treatment. <laughs> when was the last time you spoke to Brock Lesnar? Oh, Jesus. The ultimate treatment in Las Vegas? He was alluding to coming back to the yeah. he, he said that? Yeah, the announcer team kind of teased yeah. it. They're like, and after this, he's going to Vegas to get the ultimate treatment. Yeah. Oh, I, I like it. I, I, I didn't know that. I like it. Um, yeah, you know, we, we've, we've had a pretty good working relationship with the WWE. And, uh, you know, obviously Ronda was a massive star for us, a massive star for them. She did amazing groundbreaking things here and there, and so was Brock. I mean, the fact that Brock came in here with one UFC fight and became a world champion and literally competes very well with the top and you know fighters in the world, it's very impressive. But uh, yeah, the, we, me and Brock have nothing going on yet. You know, Brock just got done wrestling. You know, he, I, I, I don't know what his schedule was, but I would assume he's had a rough schedule. Probably we're heading into summer wants to spend time with his family. His kids are probably just getting out of school here in the next month or so, so or two months. So when he's ready, he'll call me. Uh, Israel was saying that <coughs> should he win this fight, you guys are looking to do something an 80,000-person stadium in Australia. Who said that? Israel Adesanya. Oh, you did. listen, if, if Israel Adesanya wins this fight, the fight with him and Whitaker is massive. Massive, crazy fight. Yes, we need to figure out where we will do that and how we will do it. I don't know. Would I don't know, but we could. Would you do it down in that market? I, I would like to. It makes sense. John Jones is talking about wanting to get paid more to go to heavyweight. Are you starting to get bored of John Jones at light heavyweight? The contenders aren't really starting to rack up. And no. There's so many super fights for that. No, they, they're never. Listen, Tiago Santos is an animal. I mean, he's that guy's a beast. There's always going to be somebody. People were asking me that about John Jones, you know, 10 years ago, too. There's always going to be somebody. But, um, you know, Obviously, a John Jones at heavyweight is fun too. Do you think we see Conor McGregor the octagon this year? I do. What timetable did I have no idea. I'm meeting with Conor in Miami. When is that? Uh, in two weeks. Sunrise, yeah. yeah, in two weeks. And uh, Cyborg, you said that uh, you're looking to do Cyborg's fight. Has she resigned with the UFC and don't have a hand at the end of March? Yeah, no, her contract isn't up with the UFC. Okay. That's and, not true. And, um, Will she have to fight somebody else before she can finish off the featherweight title? I don't know. I don't know how this is all going to play out. Amanda's going to fight. We'll see how she does and how she comes out of that fight, and then we'll go from there. But I know she wants to rematch very bad. you got a very interested Max Holloway over here, but you mentioned talking to Conor. Is there any chance to do Conor Habib before you do the winner fighting, uh, you know, fighting Habib? Does this interim champion well, well, get that next fight? Well, this is a great opportunity for Holloway to, uh, obviously, the Poirier fight, and then Connor's out there too for him, you know, two guys that he lost to that he can, you know, get those marks off his record. So you see the winner. You see the winner getting next. <laughs> you see the winner getting to be next though before Connor. Could Connor slip down? I mean, that'd be a huge fight. No, I mean th these guys are the interim champions. They're fighting to fight Habib. Are rumors of an Abu Dhabi card in September substantiated? Got you, but... <laughs> you got me? <laughs> Max Holloway just saved my life. <laughs> um, what, what was the question? Uh, Abu Dhabi in September. Any substantiation? Um, we'll see. Talk about your feelings going into this first pay per view on ESPN Plus, right? I mean, is there? I mean, obviously the partnership has been great so far, but there a little bit of nerves. You know, hey, are people going to know how to find? Are they going to know where nah. we get this thing? There's no, dude. I've been doing pay per views for 20 years, so. There's no nerves whatsoever. You know, I know on the ESPN side, you know, this is their first one. The reality is ESPN is so goddamn good at what they do. They should have been doing pay-per-views 10, 15 years ago. I mean, these guys are the best in sports. There's, I'm, I'm sure they're going to have their little lumps and hiccups. You know, it happens when you, when you start doing something new. But I'm telling you, I, I've never worked with a group of people that are so on top of what they do and so good at it. Um, this, this, this whole relationship with these guys over the next seven years is going to be ridiculous. We're going to take the sport to new levels. I mean, if you look at what's going on on ESPN, talk about, you know, the fighters getting exposure. You couldn't get any more exposure than what ESPN is doing right now. Then when you go to Plus, 
the content that these guys are creating on Plus is, is off the charts. If you're a UFC fan, you know, everybody hates change and it's a little weird when things change and it's, you know, you figure out what's going on. There's never going to be a better time for MMA than the next seven years. The, the content, the, the uh, promotion that these guys are going to get, the things that we're talking about doing in the next seven years. In two months, next two months, I'm going to bring out all the media. I'm going to bring you guys out to the headquarters and I'm going to walk you through the future. Okay? All, all of our stuff will be done in two months. It'll all be ready to roll and I'm going to walk you through the future. And you're going to be like, holy shit. I'm telling you, we're taking the game to a whole nother level and we're going to blow your minds with what we're working on. Do you think the production will be right The production is going to be insane. The, the amount of opportunities that are going to be out there for fighters, the, uh, the, the PR that's going to be there for fighters, the, the pieces that are done on these guys, it's going to be insane. I mean the production setup, that will be ready by the way. Yeah. The, pr the, the new, yeah. the Apex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be done. And we're, the, we, are, we already have people... We have all the major sports calling, asking if they can use this facility for different things. I'm, I'm telling you guys, game changer. You, you, you haven't seen anything yet. All the things that we've accomplished in the last 20 years, wait till you see what we do in the next two or three. Okay, just a couple quick ones for me. Stipe, any updates on him? Like John had teased the fight that they were going to fight a heavyweight or whatever. That didn't happen, but what's the update on Stipe? Yeah, that was never true. When John Jones said that, John Jones didn't want that fight, wasn't ready for that fight, but said that. It was really weird. Um, yeah, the, the reality is probably Cormier. So you didn't want that fight at all? No. Okay. He didn't want that, he just didn't. No, yeah, it was just, I don't even know why he said that. <laughs> Next time you see him, ask him why he said that. Uh, Usman's here. Usman Covington, do we know when that fight's going to happen? No, not off the top of my head, I don't. Okay, and lastly for me, I walked up as you were starting, the, the TJ Dillashaw thing you touched on, I just went, how, how were you impacted by this? Because I feel like everyone's taking this a lot different than the other ones, man. Were you, did, did this shock you, or did you, did you start thinking we got to do more? Well, what shocked me is what I'm paying USADA and that that didn't get caught earlier. That's what shocked me, but I know Nowitzki came out and explained it. Uh, you know, he knows better than I do, but still, there's no excuse for that. In my opinion. Did this one hurt you a little bit or bother you a little bit? More? Yeah, it bothers. Listen, we're, we're spending all this money for USADA and to, to, to make sure that there's a, you know, a fair playing field. So, I, you know, I'm always 100% confident that if you're doing something, you're going to get caught. And that wasn't the case. That bothers me. You said a second day for you in Canada in uh, July. Will that be in Canada? Um, I have no idea. You're, you're hitting me with some left field shit now. I, 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 I don't know. You done with me? Let's get Max in here. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming.